to Rebecca with Made Central. As we continue talking about scheduling, we're going to move on from the job schedule to how to use the master schedule. Where to find your master schedule is under reports, master schedule. The master schedule is a little bit different than your job schedule as this encompasses all of your recurring customers. And recurring is every week, every two weeks, or every four weeks. So those are the three different recurring statuses that you will find on your master schedule. You can see here the layouts are different as it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And again, it's broken down by team. So you can see the team information here. Um, we go week one, week three, week two, week four. That is enabling the system to recognize your even week customers that have every two weeks and your odd week customers that have every two weeks and keeping them together. So you can see here is a perfect example that this customer goes week one and week three. This customer goes every two weeks, week two and week four. When using your master schedule, you have the same functionality, just like from your job schedule. We're double clicking on, a, on an option here. We'll allow for you to do scheduling changes. So you can do a move, bump, skip, cancel, lockout, or modify. Modify is where you are going to move it from you know Mondays to Thursdays. So that would be modify schedule. Or you can cancel the service from here as well. I did just mention um, that it's by team. So you can see here that I've got my teams listed out. You can scroll down to see your additional teams and where those jobs are. Across the top, we've got the total number of jobs for week one for all teams, total number of allowed hours. And then this also is going to tell me if I have any conflicts. Luckily here on Monday, I've got my schedule put together to where I have zero conflicts on Mondays. You can also see another conflict button here that's right next to the teams where it has the number of jobs that they have for this particular Monday and each week and the total number of hours as well. We switch days just by clicking on the next day. You can see here for Tuesday, I have a couple conflicts. And what is a conflict? A conflict means that a job is overlapping another job. So for instance, I've got the bud job starting at one but the deeds job doesn't end till 1 30. so the team can't be in two places at once so that's going to throw up a conflict by clicking on anything that's in blue you can see these are both in blue it will show you the conflict and when that appears so this is showing me actually the team one conflict for johnson and roethlisberger there's a little bit of time overlap because 11 22 goes into the 11 15 start of this Roeberger home. So again, it's going to show you the conflicts that you've got on your schedule. Other things that are super cool on the master schedule is the length of the bar. So you can see here, someone that goes all the way across, do you know that's a weekly customer? They get cleaned every week um, during the on Tuesdays. If it's two lines, two lines across, you know that's an every two week. And these are going to be our every four weeks that are just one week out of the month on the master schedule. Earlier, I think I said a double click. This is actually just a single click. And so now I can change the start time to 1130, update this in future jobs, and go ahead and save that change. And this is going to quickly refresh the page for us. And you can now see that it's moved that conflict. So again, the conflicts are going to work. It's This is, again, talking about all my conflicts. So now I can see that Team 11 has a conflict that needs corrected. So again, conflicts are just letting you know that a job is overlapping and going into when that um, next job that's on the schedule is scheduled to start versus the end time of the first job. The beauty behind the master schedule is going to allow for you to quickly see where you can sell new recurring business. And you can see these are all color coded by my zones. And so if I'm making a sale, which I know my purple zone is Homer City, if I'm making a new sale for Homer City and it's for Tuesday, I would definitely want to give that job to my team too depending on if they're gonna start week one, week three, week two, or week four, or whatever their frequency is, 
you can see I've got a large time gap here. So I could easily put in a new weekly with a 1 p.m. start time to fill this spot and make myself efficient by staying in Homer City. Another super cool thing about the master schedule is that it's going to help you make sure that all your recurring business has a default start team and time. So you can see here when I move to Wednesday, I currently have a job that's on the not scheduled line. So I'm going to want to find a position to permanently put them to, for their every two week rotation, week one and week, week three. And you can see here that I have an opening with team two at the same time that this job is currently scheduled. So again, a single click, I can change from not scheduled to team two, update the start time and save that information and go ahead and get this job moved over to team two instead of my not scheduled line. In doing so, that was the only job I had for my recurring business that was on the not scheduled line. So now the not scheduled line no longer is viewable on any of my days of the week since I was able to get that one job off the not scheduled line. So again, the master schedule is here to help ease and resolve any scheduling conflicts and help you efficiently sell and put your new recurring business in proper positions to help, uh, in, help your business be efficient and productive. Thanks.